Two people who were shot in the parking lot of an elementary school are in the hospital tonight. Clark County deputies say the suspect shot them before later turning the gun on himself. Fox Wolves Kendra Kent is outside Sarah J. Anderson Elementary School where all this unfolded. Well, we have learned that both victims tonight are in the hospital with critical injuries. And as you can see, deputies have been here investigating all throughout the night. The shooting today happened just a day before the school will be closed for Thanksgiving break. And school officials say their thoughts tonight are with the victims, their family, and the entire community here. Clark County deputies say this was an act of domestic violence, a windshield peppered with bullet holes and a driver's window shattered after two people were shot Tuesday afternoon in the parking lot of Sarah J. Anderson Elementary. Investigators say the two victims are adults, but two children were also inside the van during the shooting. It takes a toll on families that are involved but also the school, the people that found them, people that witnessed, and the deputies involved. It's a tragedy all the way around. Deputies say the shooting happened after school let out for the day, and most of the students had already gone home. I heard the two shots, but I didn't know at that time that they were shot. It sounded like I say, it sounded like somebody pounded on the door. Thomas Herndon lives across the street from the elementary and says he was reading the mail when he thought he heard somebody knocking on his door. Then, a couple minutes later... And I'd seen all the fire trucks and uh, police cars coming up 104, and there must have been about 15 or 20 of them. I figured, well, there must have been an accident or something. Next thing we knew, somebody said there was a shooting at the school. It didn't end there. Investigators say the suspect drove away, but deputies tracked him down, leading to a short chase before they surrounded his car about four miles away from the school. We just got surrounded. This witness video shows the chaos unfolding at Andreessen Road and Patton Parkway as deputies jumped out into the intersection, guns drawn. The sheriff's office says deputies challenged the suspect who held a gun to his own head and shot himself. Deputies confirmed the suspect had only recently been released from jail and was served a restraining order related to domestic violence involving one of the victims. And deputies say that the suspect was also taken to the hospital, although there is no word on his condition either. Of course, we will keep you posted. Reporting tonight in Vancouver, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.